What is going on, everybody? This is Mike from The Last Corvette. So I bought this vehicle a few years back. Um, it's actually driven by my father, and um, this driver's side uh, window is uh, not going up. So I'm assuming the regulator motor or something, something is bad. Could be a connection. But regardless, I did a quick search. I've never removed the door panel on uh, this vehicle before. So we're gonna do it together. <clears throat> anyway, so I'm gonna start out by removing the screws, Phillips screws. There's one here, one over here, on the bottom of the door trim, and then there's one here. And then <clears throat> we're gonna give it a little yank and see what else we gotta remove, so stay tuned. All right, so remove the three screws. One, two, three, no budge. Now this piece I already removed while I was doing some minor troubleshooting a couple of weeks back so, <clears throat> so this trim piece lives like this you're gonna need a trim tool once again i'm doing this blind you're gonna hook up right to the top or to the edge and you're going to pull on this trim piece which will reveal two more screws so let's remove those and see if the door panel budges i'm assuming there's one more here so we'll have to get that one out possibly all right so <clears throat> here's another uh, panel that you got to remove to access the screws. Uh, <clears throat> I believe after this, this is going to be it. So, gonna pry up on it. Here's the screw right there. This is door panel. So, that's that. I'm using a small Phillips. And uh, all right, let's remove the screws. I'll let you guys know what socket I'm going to use. All right, so these screws here are five and a half mil. One, two, three. Uh, the rest of them are Phillips. Now, this is a little reflector that lives right here on the side of the door there's another screw here so we're going to remove that and see what we got all right so i got the door panel basically off and then i noticed <laughs> there's a little what looks like a push pin but it's not it's actually a little cover and uh, as you can see there's another phillips screw there so i believe that's the last one and all they did was adjust they lifted up on the door panel and pulled it towards me so it came off just like most panels well here's the door panel oh i should say here's the door Here's the door panel, it's off, very, very simple. Once you get all the contact points, just basically disconnect all of your um, harnesses, uh, running to you know memory seats, all this stuff. This one does have a safety tab, so just basically pull that out first and then push on the tab. When it comes to your cable, it's very simple. You just basically bend it, uh, you pull it out of the groove, and then you want to squeeze these two little tabs to pull it out from the from the actuator which is <clears throat> this is where the cable uh pivot is that i just showed you and that's that plastic piece that locks in so you want to basically just squeeze one tab at a time and then just pull it out that way but now we know how to remove a, a door panel on the uh mkt